Running a real-time retrospective is a great way for groups to reflect, review, and plan forward. You can use group map where the teams are in the same room or spread around the world. The retrospective asks four key questions. What went well? What we could have done better? What we would like to try next time? And what continues to puzzle us? So now I'll be showing you how to create a Agile retrospective. So up the top, once you click My Maps on the top toolbar there, we'll move to the uh, Create Map tab here. And firstly, we've got the Agile retrospective right there, so that's nice and easy. So now we're moving on to the customizing uh, phase where you can change the name, uh, the objectives. And you can also actually change the processes involved in your Agile retrospectives. So say, for example, if we click on Brainstorm here, you can actually change the Brainstorm style from that of a collaborative one where participants can see each other's answers as they're plotting them. Or you can make it more individual where participants can only see their own ideas as they're plotting in the brainstorm phase. Later in the grouping and voting, they will see each other's answers there. Um, but we'll stick with collaborative for now. Anonymity can be changed. So right now everybody can see each other's names. If you make it full anonymity, obviously names won't be provided. Finally, the voting stage, if you wanted to change that, basically you can choose any number of dot votes to provide participants. Uh, we'll stick with five for now, and we're gonna go ahead and create. So if ever you do actually want to go back and recustomize uh, your, your map, you can do by going in the sidebar here, clicking customize, and you go straight back to that customizing page. So let's just go back again. Now we move on to the invitation stage. So by clicking in the top right corner here, the invite button, you can type in somebody's email address, send them the invite directly. Uh, but there's also a map ID link, which is randomly generated on each map you create, and a regular link, which you can send to your participants. So to demonstrate the real-time aspect of group map, uh, we've got two accounts open side by side. Let's say that this is the participant and this is the facilitator here. We can see that as the participant types in their answers one by one, in real time, the facilitator sees straight away what ideas are being typed in. Just like that, nice and easy. And yeah, basically participants can use any device to use this, mobile, tablet, or desktop, laptop. Participants can easily join the map and add their own thoughts. Also, if you chose the collaborative brainstorm style, participants can actually click on each other's ideas. They can leave comments. The participant can leave a description and even add an image if that's what they want to do. So now that we've finished the idea plotting stages, uh, as the facilitator, you can now influence discussion. By moving on to the grouping stage here, uh, your, your participants can discuss. And if you find any ideas that share the same themes or are very similar, you can group them together, just like this. So now they both fall under group two. And you can obviously ungroup these if needed. Now the action phase, here you can assign actions to certain ideas. You can assign any action to any person and you can actually uh, choose which date you want the action to be completed by as well. Uh, these will show up in the final reports uh, at the end. And finally, we move on to the results tab. So here we can see the actions we've assigned, all our ideas voted from most popular to least popular by default. And really, it's just a great time for participants to sit back, have a look if we're happy with what's been recorded and you can move on to the reports from here. Now to find your reports, head up to the top left hand corner, click on the side toolbar and the fourth item down is reports. Here, all of your results have been saved in real time. You can download them as a JPEG or PDF image. You can also export the files. If you wanna lock your results, head into the toolbar again and you'll notice under reports lock map. So basically we can save our results so that they're not going anywhere. And if we exit the map, 
you'll notice that it's actually now in your map gallery. Here you can search for the map. You can also clone it using it as a template. Uh, you can archive or delete the map altogether. So hopefully this video displays how easy it is to create an agile retrospective. People can share ideas from around the world. You can vote on those ideas and create a bit of an action plan for a project. If you liked this video, please don't forget to follow us in the links below or check out some of our other videos to help your teams think better together.